Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and let all that is within me praise his holy name. Glory to God. I want you to turn to Habakkuk. This is your call to worship this morning. And we're going to go through this really quick. Um, praise God. Praise God. How many of you know that God is not afraid of your anger? Okay. We are... Wait, let me, I want to get stuff in front of me. But we're not called to come to God in perfection, but we are called to be transparent before God. And we don't know what to do with our anger sometimes, so then we don't know how to be transparent. Oops, I get that. Before God. <laughs> so what that can lead to, and I'm talking about righteous anger. I'm not talking about we mad because they cut me off in traffic, right? I'm talking about I'm mad because... I see injustice, and Lord, when are you going to move? How are you going to move? Why am I having to wait for you to carry out your word? All right? You got two examples. Jonah, I'm not even going to go there. I'm just going to tell you that's the bad anger, right? That's the bad. You end up honoring God, but honoring God unto despair. And we saw that's where Jonah ended up. But in Habakkuk, if you go to Habakkuk 1, all right? Um, Habakkuk gives us a, matter, a, a model of how to deal with our righteous anger before God. You got it real clear. First, in Habakkuk 1, he cries out to God. I'm going to paraphrase it for you. He basically is like, well, you know what? I want to go because God said, go ahead and do that. Um, but Habakkuk says that, you know, how long, Lord? How long? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, I just got to get in the right place. Well, I can't take my time too much. Nita, get me. <laughs> here, okay. God said open it up right here. So that's what I'm going to do. But Habakkuk called out to God. And he cried out to God. And he was like, how long am I going to have to wait? And he was basically asking God, how come you're not doing what you're going to do? But God answered Habakkuk right away. He answered him right away. And he's like, you know, behold, I'm about to do something that if I told you what I was doing, you wouldn't know. So get that answer. Sometimes the answer is above your pay grade. And God is just telling him, look, I'm about to do something. And then he goes on to tell him, and you're going to have to go ahead and read all Habakkuk because I want to get through this. But God goes on to tell him, I'm raising up a people. And then he's like, okay, okay, I'm not that crazy about that answer, but okay. And so he goes on and he asks him again. He's like, well, what about when are you going to punish these people? You know, and then God goes on to tell him, look, write it down. Make it plain. The message might tarry, but it's, it might delay, but it's going to come, all right? And then he goes on to tell him what he's going to do to all those people who come against Israel. Look, God has your back, all right? Take your anger to him. Be transparent with him because then he's going to show you what he's going to do. And even if he doesn't give you all the details, notice Habakkuk ends with let God is in his temple and let the whole earth be still because that's what it comes down to. God said, okay, you know, ask me, I'm going to tell you. And then, okay, you got some more. I'm still going to tell you. But then after he told him, it wasn't no back and forth. It wasn't no, I need some more explanation. It's like God is in his temple and let the whole earth be still. So take your concern to God. Trust him. He has you. And even as we go forth today, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, bless each heart here to be submitted to you, to your word, and to moving in obedience to what you have. Okay? Take your anger to God not to your own action and fear. And he will speak to you and then trust him in what he's carrying out. All right. Bless the Lord. And you got to read Habakkuk all the way to the end and read Jonah all the way to the end so you get the context better. <laughs>